1253 Mall Street, Nice oh, Pennsylvania. A dick. It's now 7 or 4 a.m. Thursday, February 27, 2020. I got this mask at my doctor's office at UPMC Pinnacle in a Manhunt Pike. Dr. Sisparos has a primary care office there. She's been my family doctor since December 2018. And they had a box of masks sitting out there when you go in and register. So I took one on one of my visits. That's how I got my mask. As the outbreak soars in the U.S., Europe, which has essentially banned American travelers, is returning to a semblance of normalcy. Richard Engel on what Europe did right and what the U.S. could learn from it. U.S. is hitting record COVID cases. Europe is getting back to business. Despite a few targeted closures in hotspots, Europe appears to be over its first wave. The United States clearly is not. The numbers tell the story. This graph shows how Europe and the U.S. both faced an initial surge in coronavirus cases. But then Europe crushed the curve to where it's now well below the U.S. and stable. While the U.S. vacillated, lost time, and eventually flattened the curve, only to see cases skyrocket in June. But why? While each country in Europe had slightly different experiences, generally, Europe stuck to a script. COVID policies were national, not up to local discretion. The science was never politicized. Mask wearing was widely accepted, not seen as an affront. Closures were enacted quickly and lifted slowly. European countries are looking at a number of countries in the world, Brazil, the United States, India, Russia in particular, as uh, reservoirs of infection that will continue to pose a threat to the rest of the world. Dr. Anthony Fauci admitted the U.S. isn't following a winning formula. When you compare us to other countries, I don't think you can say we're doing great. I mean, we're just not. COVID has been a test. The U.S. so far is failing it. Without mentioning any country in particular, Germany's Angela Merkel this week said the pandemic can't be fought with lies and disinformation, hatred or agitation. She said COVID exposed the limits of fact-denying populism. President Trump has insisted on reopening schools. Here in Europe, that's already happening. But most countries waited until they'd flattened the curve before bringing students back. Lester. Richard Angle tonight. Thank you, Richard. And with a